Guys, I very rarely have I been speechless, but I don't have much of a reaction there. That was just such a journey. Like they look like, I thought they were like 15. They were like young kids. I just thought it was more like gonna be a one week together, then we broke up and then I, I, I had a glow up and then he found that I cheated. Like I was just not expecting that to end that way. So I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I didn't want my baby daddy going out with his friends no more cause I told him that they weren't really his friends. And he told me that they actually was so I his best friend and now they're not best friends and his best friend is dead i don't know if i was mentally prepared for this video <laughs> again maybe some of these are jokes maybe some of them are real i really don't know i certainly hope that that guy isn't dead because he slept with his best friends my baby daddy baby mama but again why would she even do that like does she not feel partially responsible for murder now <laughs> So I don't fully understand this. I, what I think happened is like he was singing to her and then he knew she was cheating so the cheater came out and he kept trying to sing but he was crying. That was actually kind of hard to watch. I don't know why. I just can't watch people cry. It makes me very upset. If you cry, I'm gonna cry. I just, I don't know, man. It's like, why cheat? Why do this to somebody? Why put someone through this emotional torture? Like I said, I've never been cheated on that I'm aware of. Maybe I have been and I just don't know it. I mean, I understand every situation is different, of course, but a lot of these situations are just like, they just do it because they're not happy and it's like, then just leave. My flight was a little bit delayed. Oh, okay. How was Atlanta? It was good. Yeah, I got to see my aunt. And yeah, was your aunt fine? Yeah, she's good so, now. So what'd you do? What do you mean what I got? You went to see my aunt. I know you went to see your aunt, but what else you do? I went to see my aunt and I guess he had like a, a couple of family friends. This seems like nothing, huh? I'm in your city. Yeah, close friends, huh? So what's this? So okay. you're in a Lamborghini. Hey, your friends are just toxic. You're just trying oh, to you're just trying to bring so you're in a Lamborghini. You popping you bottles in Atlanta. Problems all the time. Let me tell you. So why so I so what's think. this? So so what's this? This ain't you. You know what? Yes. Okay. But double R only. You ain't never been in a double R in your life. I feel like I feel like I shouldn't have seen that video. Now, obviously, the guy recorded it and uploaded it to the internet for a reason. But I feel like a fly on the wall when there's an argument, and I just should not have been in that room. I might watch it again in my own time just to kind of like really enjoy the uncomfortable feeling of like I shouldn't be listening but I'm gonna keep watching kind of thing but it's almost like when you are hooking up with someone and you don't know that she's married and then you have to run in that closet and then they have a fight and then they end up making love you don't want to stay but you're kind of into it excuse me why <laughs> So I need everybody to push their way up to the curb, push their way up to the sidewalk. And we gonna keep this party going. Make sure that y'all push your way up so the traffic can roll through. And we gonna keep this going. I just hate this club culture of like just messy making out, sloppiness. I don't like it. I feel like I'm wired differently though. I feel like I'm a very emotional man. For a male, I feel like I'm very emotional. So I feel like I don't see these things as most people would. Which, it's not a bad thing. I just cry myself to sleep every night. <laughs> you need to leave, Owen. You need to leave. I'm not leaving, Rachel. I don't give a damn what you're trying to say. I'm, I'm staying in this house. No, you ain't. Yes, I am. I'm staying in this house. I cheated on you. That shit ain't a big deal. It's time to get over wow. it. Not a big deal? Wow. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And wow. You're not, I'm not going to let you get with nobody else, either. Like, that's shit get happened. away from me, that's Owen. That shit happened. You ain't get away from else. me. You ain't get with nobody else. Oh, okay. Okay, here. okay, you need to leave. No, I'm staying here. Leave, I'm leave. leave. At the end of the day, like maybe it's a bit extreme. You guys know each other, you had past history. But at some point when you're so hurt and the fact that he's trying to downplay it and he's like, I'm not going anywhere, you're not gonna be with anybody else. This is past the point of, of like a bad relationship. This is controlling, manipulation. This is terrible. Like, this guy's gotta figure out his own issues because there's this is stemming from somewhere terrible and it's not it's never gonna lead anywhere good for anybody. So Would you rather? Okay, you can go first. Okay. Would you rather show your at a party in front of a bunch of guys? I already did that. It's not fair. <laughs> wow. 
Or would you rather f my boyfriend and tell me you're at Tiffany's house? Already did that too, probably, right? Turn it off. No. Turn it off. No. I'm serious. No, I already know. He told me, so. Told you what? He told me that you guys f I already know. Well, the last thing that he told me was that you were just his f***ing side bitch. Are you f***ing kidding me? Get the f*** out. No, get out. Are you serious get right now? Are you serious right now? Again, this is a situation where I feel like I shouldn't have watched this, but she filmed it for a reason. She wanted people to see. There's layers to it. The boyfriend hooks up with the girl's best friend, and the girl gets mad at her best friend, not the boyfriend. It's like, you realize the boyfriend's all sweat fault, right? It takes two to tango, as they say. So in a situation like that, especially when with a friend of yours, I would cut off both parties. I'd rather you steal from me than do that and lie to my face. It's like, don't piss on my back and tell me it's raining outside. You know what I mean? Hello? Hey, can, can we talk for a sec? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's up? Um, I know we've been through our ups and downs, but I still really have feelings for you. <laughs> You're joking. No, what like... What am I just... Am I just supposed to overlook the fact that you f*** <laughs> my dad? <laughs> you. Do not. <laughs> I was expecting it to be like a... Like the girl on the phone was friends with the girl in the car and the girl in the car was dating the guy on the phone or something and, and then he was gonna be like, I feel free too and the girl was gonna be like, I'm here too, Angel, I thought we were together. I was not expecting that. That was a huge turn of events and I'm here for it. I love that. Good for the dad though. I, I wonder what the dad said. Son, I'm sorry, she was just so hot. How do you do that to your own child? And as a father, why would you wanna be with, uh, whatever. I like, you ain't gonna do shit. And you saying that you won't work out and you want you're not gonna go out and you go out in three days in a row? I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Stop. No, Zay, no, Zay, no, Zay. Get the f out of my head. Zay, I need to say some Zay, you ain't gonna, please, I need to get no, out of my head. No, please, just no. let me go. Oh, just let me go. Please, no. I'll, I'll, I'll say I didn't like the fact that he was almost like going after her. I don't know if he was gonna hit her or not. It looked like maybe he was going to, and I did not like that at all. And I'm glad his friend was kind of there to hold him back, but like that's just hurt, man. There's something about just seeing people genuinely crushed that just hurts so much. I'm a very <gasps> empathetic person. I, I feel for people. Like when it's raining outside and I'm driving in my car, I legitimately have thoughts of like, I wish I had umbrellas that I could just give to people walking down the street. But then I realized, You'll actually be in a lot of debt going out and buying the umbrellas and giving them out for free. And in this world, you need money to live. You know, everything costs money. So rather than be a good person, just get rich. When you were young, you found out your husband had a girlfriend. Oh, yes. So you went and found out who she was, made friendly, friendly with her. And yeah. then what happened? Well, we went out drinking. Yeah. And I wasn't hardly drinking. I was just putting her to her good. And she was so drunk, she face went right down in her food, and that's where it stayed. I called him and told her, come and get your lady friend. Her face is in the food. So you got her so drunk she passed out in her food and then you called him? Yeah. He must I have been so shocked. To come and get her. <laughs> Grandma, you're what they call savage. I know, and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is, that's just great. Your husband now knows that you know this girl has no idea. She's just gonna wake up a bad hangover and a, a whole mess to deal with knowing that her her fling or whatever, the guy she was hooking up with, was, you got know like, do you see the layers to that? That is ultimate pettiness and I love it. Miss Chanel with all I of her know, Chanel expensive clothes on. <laughs> yeah. It matter in front of your daughter? You had sex with my wife, John? You had sex with your brother's wife? Yes? Your phone out. No, you don't get to tell me what to do. You you can violate my wife. You can violate you can violate my my relationship, my marital contract. But you don't get to tell me what to do, dude. Again, I feel I don't know. I don't know. What to, I don't know if I'd be more mad at my brother, my wife, both equally. I would even cut everybody off. I would never speak out of them ever again. To me, they would have died, and they would have never existed in my life. They would never be a thought. Like, I would not know they exist, to be honest with you. That's how I get down. Yeah. Because it's ridiculous. Oh Over it, just got caught cheating and shit. Wow. Better get all her shit. She better get all her shit and get out. Look at what the fuck you did. Yeah, look, I'm gonna show you what the fuck 
you did. I'm gonna show you what the f you did. Look. Just not a good situation. Not a good. Get out. You gotta go, cause this isn't gonna go well. You know what I mean? Catch me doing sh Come outside. Where's she at, bro? She ain't here. I ain't nine nah, on nothing with you. I ain't got no problem with you. Where the f where that? She ain't going nowhere. I just left. Man, I, you know what I'm on, bro. I ain't no shit with you, bro. Where's she at? Man, where's she at? I drop her off, bro. Problem with me going in the room, but you ain't got no problem with standing here talking to me. Man, get the f out. She in there. You is or she is. That's the shit you do. Man, I don't give a f about that. Hey, you know the difference between me and you? If I was in there with her, I would have made that come out. Yikes. So the girlfriend was cheating, but she's just like, won't come out of the room? Come on, if you're gonna be ballsy enough to cheat, you better be ballsy enough to face up to what you've done, you know? I told you I wouldn't touch you. I told you I wouldn't touch my promise. I promise. That included that. That wasn't necessary, please. If I ever touch you around here again, I will rip your fing beard off, break it for get get Stop. get 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 You think you got what's good? Hey, come you on. You think you got? You ain't here. Where's that energy now? What's up? Come on. You the Don't apologize to myself before I fing kill you out here. Go apologize to myself before I fing you up. I think we've seen another part of this one before where he was making him apologize to the kid. That poor kid needs to be left out of it. I want you to remember this face when you're older so you can get your vengeance. But this one, because I remember when he said, I'm gonna rip your beard off and I was like, ow. <laughs> like, yeah, you can be upset that this man was ruining your marriage, but uh, don't use the N word. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I'm gonna go hang out with the boys. Do you wanna come with? Uh, no, I'm gonna hang out with the girls today. Hey, I'm gonna go hang out with the boys right now. Alright, have fun. Alright, so my girl's been acting super weird, super weird. Every time we hang out, she's always on her phone texting other people. I don't know who it is. So I'm gonna hide out. I'm not actually going to hang out with my boys. I'm gonna hide out and I'm gonna catch her. Who the fuck is this guy? Was that real? Oh, boy. Hey, I'm gonna go hang out with the boys right now. That's what I call Oscar award winning movies. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad news bears, you guys. Uh-uh. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. What would you even do? Ugh, and you're in the hot tub too. Dang it. <laughs> Where is he going? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh my gosh. Oh. Keyshawn, what are you doing? What the f are you doing? What are you Who's doing? Who's in there? Hey! Who's in the house? Nobody's here, Keyshawn. You're tripping. Who's Wait, in the house? Did you literally just climb from all the way down there? Wait, who's in the house? Okay, I think that I saw this on TikTok or something. And I don't think that anyone was actually in the house. I think that she was just playing a prank on him to make him think <laughs> that somebody was like coming over or whatever. That's so funny, his face <laughs> up against the screen. Oh, uh, savage. Oh man, that would be so embarrassing. And why does it look like they're in the desert? The middle of the de- well, other than the trees that are behind him, but... <laughs> but like, where is this? Why is that beach on a hill? I got a lot of questions. What? You've never been giving me no love and affection, no attention. Man, what you mean, Tyler? I gave you my heart and his money. <laughs> Get 
your peanut head out, man. Come on. He need to get his giraffe. Oh, oh, this oh, is oh, 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 o
right? You guys, I'm speechless. He tried to play that off so cool. Like he didn't just get caught in the act. Her best friend, Libby, you're a real one. Everyone needs a Libby. Just know that I'm sorry for everything I did. I know it's not gonna fix anything, but I don't know why I did it. I don't know what got to me. But I just do hope you find the right person for you since I wasn't, since I broke, since I cracked the pressure, which isn't an excuse. I'm sorry. But just remember, I do love you. And I always will. Goodbye, Ashley. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I want to bet that that man is a theater major or an actor in some capacity. No tea, no shade to theater people. I am a theater people, but... <laughs> or he's a Leo. That was some of the most dramatic behavior I've ever seen in my life. That is so funny. I had a girlfriend and she yeah, treated yeah, me yeah, with yes. low. Yeah, she's younger. The, the, my wife are we are a closer age. Yeah. But this one, I got a girlfriend also overseas. Oh my and god. That one, uh, 37 years old, and she also cheated me. Oh my god. Even the girlfriend cheated me. The wife cheated me. Oh no! What what is happening to me? Oh my god! No, don't say that. It's not your fault, bro, at all. Really? Of course not. Am I easy to be cheated? Shut up, no. Oh, you guys, I love the energy in that video. If your Uber driver wants to divulge their life stories to you, I think that that's amazing. I love, I've heard some of the craziest stuff from an Uber driver. And then I love this guy who's taking the video because he's just being so nice and he's right. It's not his fault. It's not his fault at all. It has nothing to do with him. And no, mister, you are not easy to be cheated on. No way. No way. A streamer by the name of Miss Q Gemini was playing CSGO and accidentally left her cheats on. This girl was using a hack in game where she could see players through the walls. Obviously, this is something that is not part of the game and the only way to see players through walls is to use a hack. It's speculated that this girl was using hacks in her own time when she's not on stream and on accident, she forgot to turn it off. We're, we're trying to not be a noob. Oh, that's what happens when you lie and deceive, you know? Also, like, just play the game. What's the fun in the game when you're cheating? We're trying to that's not, not be a noob. That's not fun. That's not fun. And that's not fun to the people who are watching you. They want to, they're watching you because they want to watch you, not because they want you to cheat at the game. WWJ TV reports two juniors at Anderson High School in Southgate, Michigan, admitted to taking cell phone photos of their answer key while their teacher was in the hall. They then shared the information through a group text. Just because you can take a picture with your cell phone of anything that you want, it doesn't mean that, that, it's, that it's a good idea. The most immediate punishment, while everyone else is enjoying summer break, the entire class has to come back and retake the test. The school superintendent said further consequences will depend on each student's history of misconduct and suspensions in the fall are a possibility. The entire class has to come back to take the test? Did I miss something? Why is the entire class being punished for something that just a couple people did? Even if they shared it in your group chat, you didn't do that, why are you punished? Also like, listen, no excuse for cheating, they shouldn't have done it. It's just like a moral thing, don't, you know that was wrong, so don't do that. But why do kids have to feel anxiety about these sorts of things, you know? Why can't, why can't we normalize retaking tests until you learn the information? I don't know. Is there a reason why th that this is this way? Yeah, here you go. Hold on. I'm, you want to talk to him? I'm going to let you talk to him. Hold on. No matter what, you on the phone? Huh? The phone? Oh, I want that phone. No matter what, you on the phone? Oh, I'm going to do a maintenance. Here. The phone. No, you, you doing a maintenance, all right? No. 
No, I'm, I'm over. I'm over doing maintenance work. These you ain't doing no damn maintenance, maintenance work. work. You working, but ain't no damn maintenance. Ain't, no, ain't nobody over doing maintenance work. Ain't nobody over here. I'm over here. I ain't about to You know she run you I anyway. So, I, hmm, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I'm going to make a guess, okay? Um, it's just to guess what's going on. So, I'm going to say this lady, she's not in the relationship, but maybe she caught this man at this hotel cheating and then she called up her friend who's actually his real partner and then put her on the phone and then handed the phone to him and was like somebody's on the phone at the end of the day whatever went on here the lady who's recording i love her i think she's great she's doing good work and she's also very funny after running over 26 miles so quickly on a 70 degree day, she should have been completely exhausted, but Ruiz appeared suspiciously well rested, raising questions. Was she on some kind of steroids? Perhaps a special training regimen? After several days of confusion, witnesses came forward claiming they had seen Ruiz join the race from the sidelines less than a mile from the finish. Probably about a half mile from the finish. Um, she's in track clothes and wearing a number, but I thought someone had just sort of stumbled into the race, maybe somebody was a little... Further investigation revealed that during the New York Marathon six months earlier, witnesses had actually seen Ruiz riding the subway to the finish line. What? <laughs> did that really happen? How did I not know about this? The audacity to ride the subway, just run the marathon. Why did you sign up for a marathon if you didn't want to run it? You don't have to do the marathon. The results of earlier matches would be used to put teams into suitable skill brackets, pitting teams of similar ability against one another. So, by strategically losing some games early on, a team could play easier matches against weaker teams at the knockout stage with better chances of winning. This was a strategy that China's team players Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang attempted to exploit in the women's doubles tournament. Unfortunately, the South Korean team they were facing had adopted the exact same strategy. <laughs> Jung <laughs> Kyung Yoon and Kim Ha Na faced the Chinese team on the court, and the world bore witness to one of the worst games of professional badminton ever played. Whoa, one of the worst games? Were they both bad or were they just both too good? Like, what happened there? I'm assuming they changed that rule after. Also, I mean, I guess hindsight is 2020, but I feel like how did they not realize that that maybe wasn't an amazing idea? The day before the U.S. Figure Skating Championships, title holder Nancy Kerrigan was filmed finishing a practice skate in Michigan's Kobo Arena. But just seconds later, she was screaming in pain on the ground after a man with a police baton attacked her. With her thigh badly bruised, Kerrigan was unable to compete. Her longtime rival, Tanya Harding, went on to take first place and was selected alongside her for that year's Winter Olympic skating team. However, police soon discovered the attack on Kerrigan had been ordered by a bounty hunter. In a shocking twist of events, Tanya Harding's ex-husband, Jeff Galuli, and her once bodyguard, Sean Eckert, were labeled as the culprits. That is so crazy. Like, that's like savage. To injure something, to take a baton to their leg? That's next level. You guys, no. <gasps> no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, what a nightmare. Who the f is that? Who's that? Yeah, you thought I was in the shower? Give me, give me, see your, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone then. Because I, I just caught you cheating. Let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. Who's that? Wow, Stephanie. I can't wait to see you. Wait, nobody texts their friend like that. Wow, get the f*** in my house, dude. Get out. Get out of my house. Leave. Your legs can take you. Get out of my house. I don't I don't deal with cheaters, bro. Get out. Yeah. How am I supposed to? It doesn't matter. You should have thought of that before you did. That's so shady. That's so shady. And like saying things like my boyfriend is in the shower, like so that he knows that you can say whatever you want. Like, I don't get how people can do that. We got through all the vids, you guys. We saw different kinds of cheating. And all in all, we had a great time over here. All right? 
<laughs> I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I actually haven't eaten all day. It's 11.30 and I still haven't eaten today. So I gotta film this video, then I'm gonna go eat some peppers all day. Cause my name's Pepper. I actually don't like peppers that much. I like hot stuff though. <laughs> like I'll be honest guys, I just filmed like I think two other centrals. I filmed a few videos for Vibe. This is like the fourth or fifth video in a row. I'm, I'm tired physically. Um, and I was like, I'll just bang them all out. Like some of this stuff is very heavy. And I just don't know. <laughs> I'm laughing cause I'm so uncomfortable. I don't know how else to react. Number six, if it loads. Yeah, just spin around and around. Spin, around, and around, and around. Okay, I don't think it's gonna load. Like that Bill Withers song, we'll go around in circles. We'll go around in circles. <laughs> oh my God, clearly my brain isn't here all today. The day that this is going up, it's going up on July 22nd, which will be my 25th birthday. Isn't that exciting? Hmm, a lot of contentious situations happening over here. Ooh, also, you wanna see another one of my plants? This is another one of my plants. I don't know what kind of plant it is. Um, she doesn't have a name because I couldn't think of a name that I liked. Um, and she's like growing like another, like, can you see this? Another like green leaf all the way over here. I'm kind of like, what's going on with that? Anyways, back to the clips. Whatever, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. F it, we'll do it live, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> These outros get weirder and weirder every time I do them. That is so crazy. Oh, my computer just died. It'll turn on really quick. It'll turn back on real quick. Oh God. Just... That's crazy. That's so... The ring light just turned off. This is what I really look like. This is my real appearance without the ring light. It turned off because it's plugged into my computer. That's weird. You know that TikTok sound? That's weird. Um, sorry, I'm just waiting for my, oh, there it is. Turn the ring light back on. <laughs> Lighting makes a world of a difference. Whee!